Hi everyone, today I'm going to discuss about the most requested topic which is hair fall and how to fix it. In this video, we'll be discussing the science of hair growth, leading causes for hair fall, importance of scalp health, what are the science-backed ingredients that can help in this, some mistakes that you should avoid, how to use the serum, tips that you can't miss, and FAQs at the end. Let's get started. So first, let's understand the science of hair growth. Hair actually grows in cycles. So we tend to feel that all the hair strands are growing on our scalp. The hair grows in cycles, which is the anagen phase, the catagen phase, and the telogen phase. So in the anagen phase is the growth phase that's when the hair actually is thicker and longer and it grows in length then it goes to the catagen phase which is the resting phase and then is the telogen phase which is the shedding phase so when the hair follicles are in anagen phase that is when the hair grows so whatever treatment we give our effort is to put most hair in the anagen phase or the growing phase so on the scalp we have about one lakh hair follicles out of that 90 percent are in anagen or growing phase and about eight percent are in shedding phase and one to two percent are in resting phase so that is why we say that losing 100 strands of hair a day is normal so you must understand this before we go ahead with understanding how hair fall can be treated because understanding the hair cycle is very important so whenever we treat hair fall we are trying to push the hair into the anagen or the growing phase so that the hair can be thicker and longer remember this when i discuss ingredients later so what are the causes for hair fall any type of imbalance in the body can lead to hair fall. So hair fall is not a disease per se, but more like a symptom of any kind of underlying disturbance that is occurring in the body. So the most common cause is nutritional deficiency. If you have iron or zinc deficiency, vitamin B12 or D deficiency, this can also lead to hair fall. So whenever we have a patient with hair fall, we want to evaluate and rule out these deficiencies. Then is hormonal imbalance. PCOS or thyroid disorders are one of the most common causes for hair fall. Then is stress. Any type of stress can lead to hair fall, whether it is a physical stress due to weight loss or it is a mental stress due to exams or change of job. All that can lead to hair fall. You can see hair fall after recovery from an illness. Like if you've just had typhoid or dengue, you can notice that you have a lot of hair fall after three months. The importance of scalp health in hair fall. Whenever we think about hair fall, we often overlook the importance of scalp health. We have to understand that the hair grows from the scalp, so the health of the scalp is very important. Any kind of inflammation that is occurring on the scalp, causing redness or flaking on the scalp, could be exacerbating hair fall. So whenever you're looking at treatment to reduce hair fall, we must understand that the scalp health is addressed. Improving blood flow to the scalp is important because this provides nutrition for the hair follicles to grow. There have been studies which have shown that tightness of the scalp, which led to reduced blood circulation to the scalp, could be one of the causes for hair thinning. Dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis, which presents as flaking of the scalp along with itching, irritation and redness, could be exacerbating your hair fall so whenever we look at controlling hair fall we have to make sure that we are also addressing scalp health using soothing ingredients that can help in reducing redness and irritation to the scalp can help in potentiating hair growth now let's discuss about science-backed ingredients which help in hair growth so let's understand what are these ingredients that are used in hair growth serums that can actually help in regrowing hair first is redensin it helps in keeping the hair in the growing anagen phase it promotes stem cells to make new hair follicles second is rosemary extract rosemary extract is known to improve blood flow to the scalp and this works synergistically when are used with other ingredients bicapil shifts the hair from resting telogen phase to growing anagen phase this makes the hair thicker and grows for longer periods of time and again, helps in stimulating new hair growth and ginseng extract is anti-inflammatory and soothes the scalp skin. All these ingredients are present in the plum hair growth serum in appropriate quantities. I've gone through the entire clinical trials results of the serum. Plum shared it with me. I appreciate when the brand shares such data because it helps me in trusting the brand more and trusting the product more. And I can also put out a more scientific information out for you all. According to the study shown by the brand, they have tested the serum on 36 people when the average anagen to telogen ratio was 5.6 and after three months of using the serum, the ratio had increased to 9.65, which is very appreciable. The serum shows reduction in hair fall in two weeks and first signs of new hair growth in about 
three weeks. In three months time of consistent usage of this serum, you will be able to notice an improvement in hair density. You can see the before and after pictures of the study here. How to use this serum? It's very simple. Apply 0.5 to 1 ml every night using this precision dropper. Apply it as shown here. Part your hair and apply the drops on the scalp. Then gently spread it over the top of the scalp with fingertips. No need to massage vigorously. Use it regularly and you'll be able to notice appreciable results in three months. You have to be consistent with the usage and use it twice in a day. Now let's discuss about some important tips that you just can't ignore when it comes to hair fall. First is the importance of diet. A healthy, balanced diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables is very important for hair growth. Don't follow these fat diets and don't eliminate carbohydrates completely from your diet as this can affect hair growth. Fat and carbohydrates in adequate quantities are important for proper absorption of nutrition. Second is to treat deficiency. Please consult your dermatologist if you are suspecting any kind of deficiency. We must treat it in order to reduce hair fall and for the hair to regrow. Third is to keep scalp clean. This is often overlooked because a lot of people feel that if they wash their hair frequently, it's leading to more hair fall. That's absolutely untrue. You must keep your scalp clean and wash it regularly at least two to three times in a week. Treat dandruff. Treating dandruff is very important whenever you're tackling hair fall because flaking and itching and irritation and inflammation in the scalp can lead to worsening of hair fall. De-stress. I know losing hair can be very stressful, but try to incorporate some kind of exercise and breathing technique into your daily routine. Please do seek help to understand effective ways in which you can de-stress. What should you not do? Avoid any types of chemical treatments, hair treatment when you're having hair fall. Let the hair fall get controlled before you go on with any of these treatments on your hair. Now some frequently asked questions. What can be treated? If you have hair fall, using serums can definitely help in reducing the hair fall. But if you have visible thinning along with scalp visibility, then just using hair serums is not going to cover your scalp. Can hair become thicker than before with using serums? No. It can only go back to your natural thickness, but if you've always had very thin hair, it cannot become thicker. Can hair serums change the texture of your hair permanently? No. It can only improve your hair. Can hair length suddenly increase with usage of these serums? No. It will be a gradual process and it will take time. Can shampoos control hair fall? No. Because shampoos are in contact with your scalp for such a short period of time, it's not enough to show much effect. But shampooing your scalp is important to keep it clean and this can help in reducing hair. Can everyone have long, thick, flowing hair? Unfortunately, no. I have a detailed video on hair fall that I'll be linking in the description box below and on the iCard above. I want to thank Plum for collaborating with me on this video. I hope you found this video useful. If you like the skin and hair related content, please follow me on my Instagram handle, Dr. Archil MD, where I post skin and hair related content daily. Thank you for watching.